Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I'm back with another Lush review. And this time I have the Shaved Ice Shaving Cream for you. Now, the Shaved Ice has kind of an interesting history at Lush. Uh, it first got released as kind of a very, very limited edition product on the Lush UK website. I believe it was limited to like 100 people or 100 units or something like that. It was a very, very special edition product. Um, and obviously I didn't buy into all that stuff because usually if they do something like that, it means that they've got the release of it coming around the corner. I did have to wait until about sort of April, May, but it did come as a mainline product um, on the Lush UK website. I haven't checked the Lush Australia web website recently. I don't know if it's made its way over to Australia or other sites. That's something you'll just have to check um, on your own website, but it is still available um, on the Lush UK website as we speak. So the ingredients for this shaving cream are oat milk, rose water, organic extra virgin olive oil, fair trade organic cocoa butter. Um, you've got some glycerine, some stearic acid, some ceteral alcohol, perfume. You've got Lebanese neroli oil, rose oil, oud oil, oak moss absolute, sandalwood oil, uh, menthol crystals, activated charcoal, tincture of benzoin, and some other little bits and pieces. So there's a lot going on here. Now, this is um, centered in the famous scent family at Lush called Solarium. I wasn't overly familiar with the Solarium scent family until I purchased this product. Um, it's quite an interesting and complex scent, I would say. There's definitely a lot going on here, as you can probably tell by some of the scent notes that I just said. I mean, it's definitely got a cologne kind of smell that definitely lends itself more to a male product or a male audience, I would say. And definitely with shaving creams in general, um, I, for Lush anyway, they definitely tend to be more popular with the male crowd than the female crowd. But I love their shaving creams as well. Um, it does have some rose in there. I don't really get a huge floral hit from this. There's definitely something a little bit floral in here, like just a little bit there. Um, the oud is obviously quite a deep, strong scent that's obviously encouraging that sort of cologne kind of smell from it. The sandalwood as well gives it a woodsy note. Um, so yeah, and the menthol, you know, obviously gives it a little bit of a minty kind of scent um, that sort of just adds a bit of a freshness as well. So yeah, I would say, like I said, leans more male in terms of a scent, but definitely a female could use this 100%. It's not super male in terms of the scent or anything like that but it does have that sort of cologne -y scent so just be warned if you are a female um you're not going to get sort of like a sweet fruity smell or a floral smell from this like an overly floral smell if that makes sense just a fair warning i do like the fact that unlike other shaving creams that lush has that this comes in a bottle um excuse me not a huge fan of the tub version um not the versions of them, but the fact that the shower cream, I mean, not shower cream, geez, the shaving cream, my brain's gone at the moment, but I don't like the fact that the shaving creams come in tubs. It's sort of, it's a little bit of a nitpicky thing. And it's something I didn't really notice until they decided to put it in this um, bottle instead. Um, it's just a little bit awkward, especially in the shower. If you're in the bath, it's no problem. But if you're trying to shave in the shower, trying to keep the shower water out of the tub and all that sort of stuff. Mm, yeah, it's a little bit of a battle. But this is definitely a thinner consistency than other shaving creams from Lush as well. So I think that's also why they've put it in the bottle instead. Um, I like this. I think this is probably my favorite Lush shaving cream in terms of the texture. The scent, I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but they used to have one called D-Fluff, which was like a strawberry scented one. That was beautiful. That was my favorite, but they got rid of it, sadly. Um, they are also getting rid of the Prince shaving cream, which is also not bad in terms of a scent. Um, they will have the dirty shaving cream still around, which is sort of, I would say that's probably my preferred one. Um, it's more sort of like lavendery and just a light scent in general. It's just a little bit lighter. Um, and more sort of like a creamier scent, I would say. But yeah, I don't mind this at all. I think this is a great product. I, like I said, love the texture of it. I think it gives you a better shave than some of the thicker shaving creams because 
sometimes, and this is a common mistake that people make with Lush shaving creams, is they put too much on and then it clogs their razors. Only put a tiny bit of the shaving creams on your body. You only need like a tiny, tiny amount, the bare minimum, just enough to coat your leg like a little bit, not to the point where it's visible, but just to the point where you can feel that it's coated, if that makes sense. Yeah, because I clogged my razor too when I started using Lush shaving creams. You only need a tiny bit because that's, that's the difference between Lush and a lot of other companies is that they tend to make products where you just use a ton of it to get the job done. Lush are a little bit different like that. Um, I mean, they're not without their faults and there's definitely products where they do deliberately um, make them a little bit thinner so you use more. Cough, the body scrubs, cough. Um, but yeah, overall Lush tend to be a little bit more economical with those sorts of things, which is a good thing. Uh, so yeah, my overall thoughts. Look, like I said, Love the texture of the product. Scent is a bit meh for my taste. I would give it a four out of five. I think that's fair. I think it does a good job. I think it's a good product. Um, and yeah, if you're looking for a new shaving cream or you're just a bit sick of using aerosols and things that are a little bit nasty for the environment, let's be honest, um, definitely look into this. I think it's a good, um, good product to use. Yeah, and it did the job. Hmm. So thank you so much for watching this video. I sincerely appreciate all the support I get on this channel. Please stay tuned for more Lush reviews like this. And until next time, take care, and I hope to see you again real soon. Bye for now.